Lamella Ball has a wrist fracture, and we don't know a bunch of specific information. The team hasn't released much, but there are some clues that we can look to to know exactly what bone was fractured. Here are the things that they have released. They, so they said that he had a negative wrist x-ray for fracture, but an MRI was able to pick it up. That's one. The other thing is, we know he had surgery a couple days ago because he released a picture of himself in a splint after the operation. And if we look very closely at the details of the splint, we can see that the thumb is included in the splint, okay? So that's called a thumb spica splint. We do not use a thumb spica splint for the normal distal radius fracture of the radius bone, but we do use that splint if he has a what's called a scaphoid fracture. The scaphoid is the most commonly injured carpal bone in the, in the transition between the wrist and the hand, and it's injured exactly the way that he fell on an outstretched hand, or we call a foosh injury, a fall on an outstretched hand, and the scaphoid is the most commonly one. Those scaphoid fractures can be a real problem if they don't go to surgery, and here's why. The blood supply of the scaphoid is very unique. So most of our blood flow in our body goes from the heart outward, okay? But there's a few bones, and the scaphoid is one of them, where it actually gets its blood supply where the artery comes around the corner and it comes backward. So that means part of the bone gets, or the majority of the bone gets its blood supply from the distal aspect. Distal means farther away from the center of the body. Proximal means towards the center of the body. So the blood supply to the scaphoid comes from backwards. It comes um, from distal to proximal. So that means if you have a scaphoid fracture, the part that is on the proximal portion or closer to the body is at risk of losing the blood supply if there's a scaphoid fracture. So we're very, very aggressive with the scaphoid because of that poor blood supply to fix it with surgery if there's any fractures in it, especially if the fracture is on the proximal end of the bone, okay? So the fact that it was not displaced and the fact that he had that thumb spike of splint makes it pretty almost certain that he had a scaphoid fracture. So in terms of the recovery, the fact that, again, that it was not displaced or that you could not see it on an x-ray is a very good sign. You could only see it on the MRI. The way that we fix that is we would place a screw across that bone, across the scaphoid bone, and that compresses the bone together. So if a bone has a fracture in it and it's just sitting there with a fracture line, once you put a screw across something, it compresses it together really tight. And that helps allow the blood supply to recirculate back into the fractured part and not have any separation where you could lose that blood supply. So that's very good news for uh, Lamella Ball in, in the short term and the long term. So hopefully he can, he can recover from that. In terms of a timeline, because it was not displaced, it, probably a very minimally invasive incision just to put that one screw across the bone. And I know they're gonna relook at him in four weeks. There's a very good chance that that bone could be consolidated in about four to six weeks. So I, my expectation, no, piecing these details together is after four weeks, they'll get a new, we'll get another look, we'll get an x-ray of Lamella's wrist. If it's holding up, if everything is in the right position, um, I think they're gonna start physical therapy a bit more aggressively at that point and see if we can really even get him back probably around that three month mark or so. So that may, if you piece together all the clues, that's most likely the wrist injury that he did sustain. I think it was probably a scaphoid fracture. Again, that scaphoid has a very poor blood supply. That's where we're very aggressive surgically to fix it so we don't have any complications where the, the uh, broken part of the bone loses its blood supply. So all the best to Lamello Ball and hopefully he has a smooth recovery. And we'll see you guys here on the channel next time. Make sure to subscribe. See ya.